Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if you hear the lawnmowers outside, someone's mowing their lawn and it is super loud. But anyways, today is that promised guide on Hive. So before I make anything on Hive about hardcore, I first wanna make a guide on how to solo it on normal so you guys can first get started on normal mode and then do hardcore. Now the strategies I talk about in this video can be applied to hardcore, just hardcore is a little bit harder, you got one life and the boss has a lot more health. That's pretty much the only major Major, major difference. Anyways, before I hop in there, I want to talk about gear I recommend you try to get before trying this on normal. So first off, I have pretty much the best gear you can have in the game at the moment before you do Hive. That is the Life Bloom Ring, Photosynthesis Armor, Laser Core. I really, really recommend you have a Photosynthesis Armor, and then the Ring and Amulet, I mean Necklace, can be a little bit different, but the Photosynthesis Armor is the main thing you want for soloing this because it is what gives you so much health. And then the runes I recommend for this is mainly Hurricane because Acceleration Divider at 2 seconds is really good. Combo the Acceleration Divider with Havoc and Calamity and you have a fantastic DPS rune. Another fantastic rune for this is going to be Rune of the Holy Light. I typically like to do Heaven Splitter Piercing Strike with Calamity. Overall this does a ton of damage. You can also do Havoc Calamity Piercing Strike, Havoc Calamity, Heaven Splitter. There's just a lot of options but overall Light Rune is also very good. And yeah, you can also do a Zer, but I strongly recommend Hurricane. And for this video, I'm going to be using the Hurricane Rune with Havoc and Calamity. And then for the gear set, I'm just going to be using what I showed a second ago. And yeah, with that said, I'm going to hop straight into the raid. So when it comes to raids to solo on level, this one is extremely easy. This has been one of the easiest raids on launch day to date. And I definitely think it was a good idea to make it this easy. Also, can my gear please load in? Thank you. But yes, they made it pretty easy so everybody can solve it right away. So first you have the mob room. I talked about this a little bit in my video on the overview of everything, but essentially the best way to take care of this room is get them all grouped up before you start using acceleration divider because it just speeds up the process of killing them a lot. Get them all grouped up in a ball like so, Calamity, Acceleration Divider, then pop Havoc after you use your first Acceleration Divider, because that is, will be once you've taken a little bit of damage from the mobs. It should take about three of them or four to kill all. Well, I messed up because my Calamity wasn't up, but still, it doesn't take too long. And then you get put out to this room. Now, on easy or normal, there really is no reason to kill every single egg in here. That just takes way too long. So I recommend what you do is just go straight for the middle and focus on the boss. Now, if you're going to be soloing this thing on hardcore, I recommend you pop all the eggs because it is said to be easier if you do that. Also, since we're mentioning hardcore, I do plan to make a video soloing that either later tonight or tomorrow. Just first, I wanted to make this so everybody can farm it a little bit on normal. Alright, Middle Egg does have a little bit of health, so you do have to hit it a few times. It can be a little annoying. Come on, Egg. I know you want to pop. There we go. And then here comes the Hive Queen. So, the main struggle with this fight is the sheer bullet spam of all the red projectiles. You really need to watch your feet a lot on this one, but if you're on normal, you can be a little bit more risky because you can respawn, so I don't recommend you stay too far away from the boss. This whole entire fight, you kind of want to be in the boss's face because with Havoc and Calamity up, your acceleration divider just does so much. And yeah, with three lives, you really can afford to be really risky and keep your health low to get maximum damage bonus out of your Havoc. So as you can see what I'm doing is just kind of ignoring the mobs if I kill them I kill them They're really not too much of a problem They can get a little annoying if you get caught off guard and all of them like jump up on you at once And I am doing this a little bit slow because I'm talking at the same time But as you guys can see on normal, this is a breeze It is nowhere near as hard as dr. V's labyrinth is to do on level for the first time and plus, a lot of the gear from the Ancient Forest is extremely good, so that gear can power your way through your first run of this on normal and all the future runs to come. I recommend you do it only a few times on normal because once you get the hang of this thing on normal, you can easily do it on hardcore due to how similar they is. So now that I've done one fourth of their health, the get behind a wall thing pops up, get behind a wall, wait for the bugs to pass, and then you can go do damage to them again. So now that it has passed, everything's gonna come charging at you again, and the one billion mobs that spawned, oh my god. 
Anyways, I am very, very excited about this raid. It is super fun because it is a lot more simple, like the Sun Temple. It is pretty much just a single boss fight with a couple of mobs in the first room, and I really enjoy that because it isn't a long raid to farm, it's a hard and fun raid to farm, and that's what I think they did really well in this. And also the, um, addition of raid tokens as well with a raid as short as this one is really smart because players can do this fast and it is very rewarding as well it's a very fun challenge and overall i am extremely excited to start making a lot of videos on this there's a gonna be a lot of fun rune versus challenges i could do in here one thing i want to see is how good the pumpkin rune would be in here because that one is definitely an odd choice for a situation like this i do think it could be really good for the mobs but i'm kind of getting off topic here i'm about to get her down to half health once they're half health they unleash a very big attack i just call it the meteor shower i have no idea what his real name is but here it is dodge all the massive red circles because they hurt a lot if you get in the center but we're on normal so you don't need to care too much now just get them down to one fourth health at one fourth ish health that is when they're going to do their next get behind a wall phase then after that it is a short road until they die so I'm just going to show the rest of the fight without cutting it out so you guys can see how fast it really is to do on normal. It isn't hard, I haven't died yet, and I've been kind of in her face the entire time. I mean, look how little health I have, and they still haven't killed me, and I'm in their face. So, as you guys can see, this is a raid that is wholly soluble on normal. And the strategy that I'm doing here, you can do on hardcore as well. All the same rules pretty much apply. Just on hardcore, you're going to be jumping a lot more because all of her individual projectiles hurt a lot. And yeah, I'm going to be farming this a lot on hardcore today. I want to try to find the best strategies for you guys and the best overall rune to use in here. I'm not sure if it's hurricane, but just for the most part, it does seem so. Anyways, like I said, at 1 fourth health, here comes the second get behind a wall phase. After this, we just gotta go after her and finish her off. So sadly, a lot of the gear that drops on normal isn't as good. Well, isn't, I'll say it isn't an improvement. It's about as good as the same gear you get from the Ancient Forest. So if you have all the best gear from Ancient Forest, all the gear on normal from here isn't worth farming too hard i'd recommend getting good on normal and then jumping straight to hardcore now if you don't have a lot of gear from ancient forest definitely farm this on normal as well until you get a couple gear drops and then hop over to hardcore but i do think what's going to be good about this raid is it's not going to be like dr v's labyrinth where only 15 people in existence ever have vince lightsaber i definitely see all the top end gear becoming readily available for all the players in the marketplace because this is very farmable it is fast and yeah people are going to be spamming it the next few days also let me know down below if you guys would maybe want me to stream hive maybe do a couple hive runs with you guys once i get good with it and once i have the best gear i can definitely do streams of me carrying you guys through the hive and just farming with you would be definitely fun to do anyways there is me defeating it you don't need to kill all the mobs you can ignore those i didn't get any drops but i did get four raid tokens raid tokens is something i love every time you beat a raid you get a couple of those and yeah that is my short guide on how to do it on normal mode there really isn't too much to say and i know this video is short and that is because it is pretty dang easy to do i hope this video helps you guys out and good luck in the raid over the next few days bye